So you know what day it is. We got another fun episode of Retro Robbie Roulette. And we still got eight packs here from Ryan's Vintage Cars we need to open up. So we'll be opening up two today, as always. And we got to give away here some nice cards from last week. I decided to give away that 1964 Bob Bailey to my viewers. So there it is. We're gonna get, you can get that very, very nice Bob Bailey card from the Pittsburgh Pirates. So there's that one. And you're gonna get the 10 pack featuring Jim Abbott on the front from 1993 Fleer. Uh, I've kind of lost my uh, little Smurfs flicky thingies. I've put them in a box somewhere, I can't find them. So I'm gonna like add stickers. So uh, I'll be adding stuff here and there, different things. So I put the big cat on there from Score. I'm Dress Galarraga. So you're gonna get the card as well in that 10 pack. So there it is. There's that Bob Bailey. We got to pick a winner. So here we go. Bring it up on the big screen there. So there we go. And if it wants to stay up, come on. Stay up there. There we go. All right. Let's see any comments we get. Oh, sorry. You, uh, oh, I got to add a captcha. I got to do some math now, apparently. So, so let's see now how many YouTube comments we get. So now they're going to make me... Do some math here for you guys. Man, what kind of deal is that? So we got 26 unique comments, so let's pick a winner. Good luck, everyone. You got a 126 chance, so all right, how much you guys was going to be this week? Who's going to be this week? It's going to be Jason, VTS Sports Guy. Congrats to Sooner D. Appreciate the amazing opportunity. Thank you for sharing the love and passion for collecting other cards. Love the cards. Love the channel. Happy collecting. Congratulations, Jason, VTS Sports Guy. You've been kind of on a roll lately with me, so congratulations. You are going to get that Bob Bailey card right there. You're going to get that 10-pack. You know what you got to do. I know you're a subscriber, so all you got to do is send me an email with your address, as always, even though I have it. It's formalities, so there is my email address, and there is Ryan's email address if you want to buy his lovely packs here and um there's my email and his email as well and our instagram so follow us there check us out and let's have some fun so there you go congratulations and i brought you down too soon as always so we gotta pick the numbers so here we go two packs here comes the first one spinning it around what's well, gonna be this week here it comes looks like number six Number six is the first pack. So there we go. And there it is. Getting the congratulations. So we're going to move that one. And let's give it another shovel there. And here we go. Let's spin it again. So we got number six. And it looks like we got number two. So we got this pack six. Pack two this week. So you know what's next? We got to pick the team. So we'll get a good shuffle there. And let's spin it. Let's go. Let's see what we get. What is going to be first team? And you know we're going to pick four of them. And that first team is going to be, looks like the California Angels. So California Angels starts us off. Oh, here we go. Give it a good spin here. Go pick team number two. So here it goes. It's spinning around. It's spinning around. Oh, 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 I'm going to lose some Cubs, love. Oh, no. The Cubs are picked this week. I know some people are going to love that. I'm going to lose some Cubs. Uh, you're going to get them this week. So here we go. Here comes team number three. Oh, round and round she goes. Where is it going to stop? Where is it going to stop? Oh, man, it's picking the good teams this week. We got the Dodgers. So we got both LA teams out there this time. We got the Dodgers and the Angels. So all my West Coast love is going to get some good teams this week. So there we go. Angels, Cubs, Dodgers. Here comes that fourth team. And that fourth team slowing down. Is it Phillies? Is it Browns, Orioles? That's going to be Browns, Orioles. So we got our teams this week. So there we go. We got them. We got both of the LA teams. We got the Orioles, Browns, and of course we got the Cubs. So here comes pack number six first. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here it is. Here is pack six. Oh, boom. 
There is the first one. What else there is? And we're going to pull the second one there. Uh, Bud Harrison from 1980 was the first one. And here comes Boom. And we got George Brett there from the Royals. Let's set this aside here. Oh, set that aside. We got some cars open up here. So let me get everything in situated for you all. As always, and here comes first pack. Good luck to everyone. And let's see what we get this week from Ryan's Vintage Cards. So there's that 1980 Bud Harrelson. So very nice. Let's see if that's Tops or old Peachy. It's going to be a good old Tops there. So very nice. We'll take that. And after that, we got Tim Davis from Team USA on 1992. So that's going to be Tops traded there. So very nice. Well... I'll find out what team he got drafted from, and if it's one of them, then uh, I will add that in. So, after that, we got the checklist there. So, we got the AL a bat in, uh, yep, batting leader there of Paul O'Neill of the New York Yankees. Oh, very nice. So, after that... We got uh, Doug Drabeck from the Pittsburgh Pirates there on the leaf. That would be 92 leaf, so very nice. After that, we got Greg Swan, uh, 81 Fleer from the New York Mets. We got the Swan man. After that, from the Arizona Diamondbacks, we got Greg Thompson out of his Bowman's first card there. And flip that around, and that's going to be a 2008, so very nice. So we'll take that. After that, we got Tom Bernanski of the Minnesota Twins on 88 Fleer. And we got Mike Griffin of the Yankees on 81 Tops. Oh, very nice. And after that, we got Jeff Blauser from the Atlanta Braves. So that is going to be 1991 Stadium Club. And after that, from the Minnesota Twins, we got our first uh, vintage there. We got uh, Glenn Borgman of the Minnesota Twins on a 1974. So I got some 74 live right there. So there we go. There is that one. After that, we got Matt Williams on a 91 Dunruss from San Francisco Giants. And after that, we got the NL Active Career ERA leaders back in 1984 of oh, Steve Carlton, Tom Seaver, and Steve Rogers. So no winners on any of those cards. So what are you going to do? After that, we got Dave Justice on a 1991. Look at him all smiling there, playing for the Braves. That's why he's smiling there. Very nice card. After that, we got Juan Guzman of the Toronto Blue Jays on a 92 leaf. And after that, we got a autograph. There it is. Very nice. We got Tom Herr from 1983. And oh, oh, oh. OPG OPG cards. Oh yeah! 1983. Nice autograph of Tommy Her there. So very nice. Oh, we got a bright card there from the St. Louis Cardinals. So sweet autograph right there of Tom Her. So very nice. We will take that all day long. After that, got some Tigers Law there. We got Dan uh Charzner on uh, the 1981 Dunruss. I'll get my Tigers love there. After that, very nice. Got 1978 Dave Winfield there. Sporting those awesome mutton chops. Look at that, man. He's so bad. Oh, the big old bad A. So very nice. Let's see that's top row Peachy. And it is OPG printed from my friends up north of Canada. Thank you so much. We appreciate your OPG cards. So I have a teeny little extra value there of Dave Winfield. So very nice. We'll take that. After that, we got uh, the running uh, Reds. Even though they're St. all St. Louis Cardinals. <laughs> oh, very nice. And that's going to be 1984 Dunruss there. So... There is Lonnie Smith, uh, Ozzy Smith, and David Green, and Willie McGee. So there they all are, all smiling. Uh, very nice. We'll take that. After that, we got uh, Matt Noakes from the New York Yankees. Man, a lot of Yankees in here. No, no, no this is shocking. No Dodgers or Angels. Oh, wow, we're not we're striking out here. So there it is, 91 Fleer Ultra. After that, very nice. We pull a big unit there. We got Randy Johnson. Got his rookie that card there. That is one foul ball. Let's do this. Nice. 
1989 Donruss rookie card of Randy Johnson. So we'll take that. Very nice. Getting a lot of him lately in the 89 Dunrusses. So we'll take that. After that, from Oakland A's, we got Edwin Nunez on the 1993 Fleer. And after that, we got Wally Joyner of the Kansas City Royals on a 1993 Leaf. And after that, from the Cleveland Indians, it's a Tops Heritage. You gotta love my heritage there. There's Pokey Reese. You gotta love Pokey Reese there. So let's see here. That is 2001. So that's gonna probably be a Bowman Heritage. So, and there it is. Yep, Bowman Heritage. So very nice. We'll take that. And then we got Ozzy Guillen for the Chicago White Sox. I own 87 tops. And that last card is going to be Pat Listash from the Milwaukee Brewers on a 1995 score. So, wow, that whole pack, we didn't get one single winner card. Man, how are the odds of that? You pull four teams, and you would think you would get a couple, but, man, that is amazing. So, you know, what I always do, I'll put in in a 10 pack here so wow it just it just shocks me here not a single winner card in that pack it's kind of odd so let's hope we get some in here for you guys get some automatic winners you know so, here we go we're gonna start off with that nice george brett from upper deck i believe that is a 1992 yes it is so very nice we will take that after that, we got Rich Gedman on 83 Fleer from the Boston Red Sox. And gets, keep going with the Red Sox love there with Mark Clear on 84 Dunruss. So, very nice card. Love my 84 Dunrusses. Oh, we finally get our winner card there on a 1990 Upper Deck. So, I think that might be Devon White. Oh... Uh, I'm trying to look here. What is that? Okay. Yep, it is Devon White. So, man, it was hard to read there in the dark. Well, there it is, Devon White on 1990 Up Deck. That's going to go to the winner. After that, we got Gary Carter on a 1984 Tops All Star card from the Expos. Man, after that, got another U.S. card of, uh, was that Jebba Chamberlain? So, very nice. Oh, there it is. oh, Joba, Joba, Joba Chamberlain. So, again, I will have to find out what team he originally played for. And if it is, you will get that card. So, I'm uh, getting a lot of USA cards here. So, but it's a gold card. So, you get the parallel. Oh, very nice. We'll take that. And today, we got a 1978 there of Larry Boa. So, very nice. Oh, where are they? Tops from Peachy. I think that's old Peachy. You can kind of tell there with the paper. And there it is. Another 1978 old Peachy. Well, my friends up north in Canada, we appreciate your old Peachy cars. And that one's Larry Boa of oh, the Philadelphia Phillies. And then we got Jack uh, Bracanti of the Seattle Mariners on 85 Tops. And after that, we got Kenny Laughlin laying the bump there on those Pinnacle Team 2000s. Oh, I love these cards. That's an insert back in the day. I know they're not worth much, but it's still kind of cool to get inserts. So we'll take that. I believe that's 1992. And after that, from Dunruss, we got John Smoltz there. So good old Smoltzy. There he is on a 1994 Dunruss. So we'll take that from Atlanta Braves. After that, from New York Mets, we got Joe Youngblood on 82 tops. Oh, very nice. After that, we got Solomon Torres there on the nice foily cards from those 1991s, I believe. So there he is again for the Giants. So he was the 1991 Midwest League Player of the Year. So there it is. So 1991, or is that 92? I always forget. 92, yes. 1992. Oh, those are the expensive ones. I see if it's, how much those are going for a box nowadays. Remember, these used to be the upper echelons in 1992. So there he is, Solomon Torres, on 1992 and a foolie card. After that, could go with the Giants here with Chris Brown. Well, look at that smile here. He's so happy because he's on a 1987 Leaf. Uh, very nice. After that, we got from the Astros, we got Steve Finley there on an oh oh. Oh, 
OPT OPT cards. Oh, yeah, there he is. I believe these are 93s, if I recall. Man, this is 1994, so always off one year. But there he is, Steve Finley of the Houston Astros. And that is our autograph. And very nice from the San Diego Padres. We got uh, Gene Harris there. So very nice. Look at that nice autograph. He has a pretty sweet autograph there. I have a 93 Fleer. Now there's our second autograph. Oh, we will take that. I'll put the autographs over there. And we got Jim Gardner on a 1988 Leaf from the Milwaukee Brewers. And got another Bowman card. We got Slade. He He's caught. From the New York Yankees, so that is a top 100. So there it is, and it's looking like a 2011 Bowman. So we'll take that all day long. All right, nice card there, and that very nice. Got a mini card 1975. Gotta love the minis. New York Mets team card there with Yogi Berra as a manager. Very nice. We'll probably have a teeny value with him as the manager. Oh, there it is. Good old Yogi there from the New York Mets. So after that, from the Cincinnati Reds, uh, upper deck there. And I'm trying to read it there. It's kind of hard to read on the. So there's Adam Dunn. So there he is from the Cincinnati Reds. And that is 2008 X Baseball. So there you go. Getting some X action there with Adam Dunn laying down the bunt from Cincinnati Reds. After that, we got Ruben Sierra on a 1992 upper deck. Oh, very nice. And after that, from the New York Yankees, we got Clay Parker there on a 1989. And that's going to be 1989 Tops traded there. So I'm getting his rookie card. So there you go. After that, we got Jeff Leahy of the St. Louis Cardinals on 83 Tops. After that, from the Rockies, we got Todd Helton there. And that one has probably archives written all over it. So you know I collect the archives. So that is trying to read the year 2020 it looks like so very nice featuring him on the 75s we got ted helton uh, we'll take that and then we got alex fernandez on a 1991 fleer ultra from the chicago white Sox. and that last card is going to be uh sean barry uh, from tops there so he's featuring him on the Astros. That is going to be 1998. So very nice. And wow, only <laughs> one winner card out of that whole bunch. So wow, that's shocker. Considering you had the Dodgers and the Cubs and the, the Baltimore Orioles. I mean, those are good teams, and they never showed up. So man. What are the odds of that? So only one winner card. That Devon White. You know I'll throw some good cards in there for you. So we'll throw all that 10 back in there. And another surprising thing is there wasn't much vintage in this these two packs. So these were kind of a, I hate to say it, dud pack in a way. Um, the oldest card was this 74. So not much vintage in these two packs. So that's kind of shocking as well. So kind of an off week, I guess we'll call it. But. Hey, that's the way the wheel goes. So I got the 74 there. Got that 75 mini with Yogi Berra. I like that car. That's a sweet card. I'll take that all day long, though. Got 1978 Larry Boa and 1978 Dave Winfield, both from Opeachy there. So very nice. And in my 78 Opeachy. And another big star there. We got the big unit there. 1989 Dunruss of Randy Johnson. So, and can't forget two autographs. We got Tom Her on A3 Opeachy, and we got 1993 Fleer of Gene Harris. Both awesome autographs there. So there is that. And uh, well, you know, you're gonna get the Devon White, and unfortunately, like I said, wow, just kind of shocking that there were no winner cards except for one. It just kind of blows my mind a little bit. So um, I'll look up the USA cards. I'll probably throw maybe one in there for you. So, um, 
And we'll pick some nice cards out of here. So you'll get some a decent star or two. So you know what I was trying to do that for you. So there's that. Congratulations to uh, Jason, VT Sports Guy. And if you want my pack for next week, all you got to do is leave a comment and be a subscriber. That's all it takes. To just leave that comment and maybe we'll pick your name next week. So... We'll throw some good cards in there for you, I promise. Even though it's kind of a dud week, but it happens from time to time, you know. Uh, again, thank you for watching. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your support. And thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.